hair care, pedicure, dermaplaning, nails, whew, body maintenance, hair removal, ah, lip enhancements. Hey y'all, it's Olive Destiny. Have you all seen any of the Maintenance Week videos floating around YouTube? If you're not sure what Maintenance Week is, it's basically all about self-care. And I thought about it. I said, how could I film a video like that if I don't go to get things done? But then I thought about it again and I said, I always do things myself. So how about a Maintenance Week, the DIY way, all of Destiny's way? Let's begin, I hope you all enjoy this video. So oh, let's begin this maintenance week with hair care. My hair doesn't always look put together and nicely styled. It's when I take these steps to care for my hair that you all see the cute put together pictures that you see on Instagram. But in between those days, this is me. I am she. I'm going to step off camera to wash my hair with my Keto Conazole shampoo that my dermatologist has prescribed. And now that I'm back on camera, what you see me massaging into my hair is the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair Shampoo. And this cleanses and restores extremely brittle, dry hair. It's also sulfate free and color safe, if that applies to you. I washed my hair once off camera with the Keto Conazole shampoo and then once with the Shea Moisture shampoo. By the way, I did not wash my hair in my bathroom sink, but as much as a difficult time as I had getting this camera set up, I definitely didn't want to take it down to take it to the kitchen to wash my hair and then come all the way back and reset up everything. Just thought I'd put that out there because someone may assume I washed my hair in my bathroom sink and that would be weird. Or maybe not, I don't know. Do you, sis? Do you? For a deep conditioning, I'm using the Lovely Bees Oh Honey Moisture Mask. This has honey, aloe vera, avocado oil, and olive oil. And honey works as an antioxidant. The aloe vera works for dandruff relief, moisture retention, strengthens, and repairs the hair. That's what I need. It's the winter time, winter dry hair, moisture in the air, <laughs> and then me just not taking care of my hair sometimes. So this Lovely Bees Moisture Mask is going to get my hair together okay the instructions call for you to apply this to damp hair you can generously saturate the hair massaging it from the roots to the ends cover your hair with a plastic cap and you can let that soak for 30 minutes for maximum hydration you can sit under a hooded dryer or use your hair steamer for 20 minutes i decided to basically let my conditioner sit for the length and time span of me filming this entire video so we have nails we got pedicure all of that coming soon so i just figured hey let's do the hair first multitasking the conditioner can sit oh i'm applying this conditioner all over my hair making sure to get my edges the nape of my neck every inch of my hair is covered with this mask and speaking of cover i'm going to apply this conditioning cap as well as this little generic turby twisty both i purchased at my local dollar tree and this will trap in the heat while we do the rest of this maintenance week and that rhymes wow for my pedicure i'll be using the petty in a box a pumice block a few polishes of choice cuticle oil and a few pedicure tools that i'll need oh and you'll also need something to soak your feet in picked up this petty in a box from a nail supply store here in memphis literally it was three bucks okay i'm lying already it was 2.95 but it has four steps in there the bubbly soak the sugar scrub the bubbly mask as well as the massage butter yeah i was waiting on her to show me so we're going to start first with the bubbly soak and the directions literally say to add a desired amount to your warm water and then soak your skin notice that i cut mine in half by the way the thumbs up is because this smells absolutely amazing all of this stuff smells and feels amazing on the skin i'm glad that i only used half of it because my bubbles always go everywhere and then you guys always suggest for me to kind of spray the bubbles with water and it'll make them go away it never makes mine go away also most asked question how how long do you let your feet soak for i needed to finish the description box on a youtube video and make it public i let my feet soak for about 10 minutes while i was doing that sis so stall time for 10 minutes and then begin working i'm going to start off by trimming my nails i'm using this cuticle trimmer to basically remove some of the dead skin along the side of my big toe as well as my pinky for hair removal on the top of the toes, I just use a little razor while my feet are damp. Looks like I'm going back and forth with the razor, but I'm holding my nail with one hand and then I'm just sliding the razor towards my toenail with the other hand to remove the hair. I'm pushing back my cuticles and cleaning underneath my nails. Those are the steps that I take to clean my nails. I basically go back and forth doing that over and over until I'm satisfied with the way my feet look. After I did that on all 10 of my toes, I took step two, which is the sugar scrub, and I'm going to gently massage this onto my foot 
as well as my lower legs and then I'll rinse this thoroughly. After that I'm taking this pumice block that I also purchased from Sam's Nail Supply. If you live in Memphis then I'll have the address in the description box for you all because I got lots of questions about that last time. Um, if not I still got you because I got links to all the items in my description box down below and I'm probably telling you all where you can get the stuff throughout this video. So the Pumice Block basically just helps to make sure that my feet are even more soft, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and pat the feet dry and begin the nail polishing process. So I'm taking this OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. I got this from TJ Maxx, $3.99. The compare to value is 6 bucks, so I saved $2, yes ma'am. Be sure to use nice thin coats. That way as you go from the left foot to the right foot and then back to the left foot, the polish is dry for you to keep working. My color of choice today is the Infinite Shine. This one is in Alpine Snow. I know, stop typing she's always wearing white be sure to check out multiple videos where I've done colors that you all have recommended I did want my nails to match hands and feet so I decided to go with white instead of trying to match up that perfect shade of pink from the press on kit which we're doing next also if you don't have a nail art brush you can definitely use a q-tip to clean up your mistakes next up in our maintenance week is press on nails these are what my natural nails look like. I picked up this professional gel nail kit from Sally Beauty for $8.29 plus tax to be exact. We rhyming again. This kit contains 30 nails, pink gel glue, a mini file, as well as a manicure stick. We're going to try to use everything that comes in the kit. There's also application and removal instructions along the back in various languages might I add. I often want to use the little wood stick. Be careful. It almost cut me. <laughs> and I'm just going to push back my cuticles and clean underneath my nails. The instructions do say to clean your nails with nail polish remover. I didn't have any polish on my nails. Mine is that one little white stain. I'm going to trim down my nails just because these are coffin shaped. I don't want my nails to peek from underneath the size of our fake nails. Then I'm going to use the nail file to gently file the top of my nail bed. I didn't do too much of this since Valentine's Day is coming up. My whole reason for doing press on nails in the first place is because I don't want holiday themed nails long after the holiday is over so this will work perfect. I decided to use the sugar scrub to remove any excess dead skin along the hands and then I'm taking alcohol. My little jar says rubbing alcohol because it used to be green alcohol in there but there's isopropyl. In my last press on nails video I did see a few comments and concerns as to whether my natural nails had any yellowing or green stains on them after removal of the press on nails. Although the instructions on these little kits don't come with kind of like prep work and cleaning and sanitizing of your own natural nails prior to gluing these on, I definitely would suggest making sure that your hands are nice and clean before you glue on a fake nail and do it properly. Some people mention things like using an acrylic method or that they use super glue, different things like that to make these nails last longer. This box only claims for up to 10 day wear and not only that, I wouldn't use an acrylic method to glue on a press on nail. If I'm going to use acrylic at all, I may as well go as far as doing the whole acrylic application. But once I've selected out all of the sizing of my nails, I'm just going to apply the glue to the back of the gel nail. The instructions do say to apply the glue to your natural nail as well as the back of the gel nail. But I decided to not follow that step since I don't want to wear these too long. Follow me on Instagram though, by the way. I'll let you all know exactly how many days these nails last. Align the gel nail with the cuticle. Press and hold lightly for five seconds. The expert tip says to apply enough glue to avoid air bubbles and to provide secure adhesion and maximum wear. If you notice that some of the glue seeps out from the side of the nail as you're pressing it down, you can use the wood stick included in the kit to remove the glue before it dries. So the kit doesn't really discuss anything about the angling or the exact placement of applying your press on nail but I like to kind of level mine off and then I slowly lay it down over the rest of my nail and I hold it down for five seconds so now we're going to repeat that same process on the left hand and to avoid boring you all I know magic tricks Ooh, wow and voila nice cute nails this is much quicker than the two hours that it takes me to do my acrylic nails eight dollar convenient option to remove that little tail along the top of the nails just use the file included and you're pretty much good to go I have a question. Do you even lift? It's the body maintenance portion of our maintenance week. How many times did I just say maintenance? Oh my God. I don't want to keep redoing this voiceover. We got a whole 10 minutes to go. Let's keep going. I do feel that body maintenance should be included in my maintenance week simply because it's a part of my upkeep of myself, of my appearance. Baby girl. A more committed schedule of going to the gym at least three times a week. 
fun fact. I'm trying to get into the habit of sometimes going twice a day because why not? <laughs> it's something to do. I'm trying to really get to, you know, slim waist, cute in the face, all that. Don't even ask me why I have on my conditioning cap at the gym. By any means necessary, I was super busy this day. By the time I looked at my clock, I didn't even have time to wash my conditioner out. I was just like out the door. Let's go, okay? No questions, period. But if you do wanna know if you can work out in conditioner without it running, I didn't get on the treadmill, so my answer is yes. Well, a summer you don't care what people think. I'm tired. She got plaits and I got See conditioner. So I'm back home from the gym, time for hair again. It's 11.27 p.m., same day, because, well, I do this. You're such a liar. This is the longest you've ever left conditioner in your hair. Tell the truth. What are we giving the girls? Very much moisturized giving very much defined very much baby yes curl bounce back game strong okay but of course we use lovely bees oh honey moisture mask so what more did you expect the link will be in my description box down below you can get this on amazon or lovelybees.com shout out to brianna for the hair care package this is my phone and this fancy case that i have from amazon that'll be linked in the description box down below this is going to help me to record me rinsing out my conditioner in the shower that way i don't have to keep my shower curtain pulled back or i don't have to risk my camera getting wet from being too close i used to film on my phone by the way fun fact it's possible i'm talking too much you just want to hear about the conditioner i've used this conditioner multiple times before the water is sort of cool i'm going to turn it back up to warm once i actually begin showering using cool water helps to seal and close off the cuticle as well as provide moisture to the hair I also like to use a wide tooth shower comb. This pink one I purchased from Dollar Tree. It helps me to detangle my hair while the water is running through my hair as well. And since the conditioner is in there, this process is super easy. I'm not gonna lie, it was like midnight at this point. I wanted to just put a towel on my head, go to bed, work with it tomorrow. But I was like, if my hair dries overnight, it's going to be a hot mess. So I figured let's at least twist it up. I'm taking the Lovely Bees Leave It Be Leave In Conditioner. This is her newly released conditioner. Super excited about this product. And it has castor oil, honey, aloe vera, and rice and oat protein. After that, I'm following up with the Do Grow Stimulating Hair Growth Oil. Sort of like doing a LOC or LCO method, leave in oil, cream. And then I'm just basically twisting my hair. So this isn't the twist out video. I'm going to do a natural hair, my first twist out video for you guys. But this was just more so a, let me do something to my hair so I can go to bed. That's what this is. But I'm just twisting it, applying the oil to my scalp and some of it throughout the strands of my hair. Taking some more of Lovely Bee's new Leave It Be Leave In Conditioner. And then I'm just basically going to twist my hair, detangle. Also, I'm reaching for the, y'all know the jam, let's jam, the black and orange jar. That's what I'm using instead of a gel. Um, actually, I'm out of gel. That's why I was using it. I haven't untwisted my hair yet, so I have the slightest idea how it's going to turn out. As I'm doing this voiceover over tomorrow, it's, it's Valentine's Day, so ew, I should figure something out. But yeah, I'm basically going to put my scarf on and go to bed. We've taken care of our hair, pedicure, press on nails. We went to the gym. I finished my hair, now it's time for bed. Well, actually I had to get something to eat because priorities. Wakey wakey, grits and bacon. <laughs> I'm gonna use my foaming cleanser by Ambi to cleanse my face. For a detailed look at my skincare routine, that video is linked down below. You guys should check it out. And tell a friend because I think that friend keeps DMing me about skincare. She missed the video, sis. Taking these Global Beauty Care cleansing strips that I purchased from Dollar Tree, this removes blackheads and unclogs pores, and it works in 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and peel off the strip from the plastic liner, wet my nose, but dry my hands, and then apply the shiny side to my nose. Since we have 10 to 15 minutes to spare, why not do a little dermal planning? Dermal planning. Amanda, please. However you say it. I'll wait for you guys to correct me down below. Engagement. I've put warm water, or actually hot water, into my spray bottle so that it's not cold hitting my face. You can either use witch hazel or alcohol. Clean your face before you begin shaving. Despite what that bottle says, I know exactly what's in it. Um, <laughs> it's not rubbing alcohol. So this mist is nothing like the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, but it's cool. As cool as this aloe vera gel that I'm using currently, which will help me to have this razor glide nice and smooth along my face. And it also helps you all to see the peach fuzz in case you didn't see it before. I picked up these razors from TJ Maxx for $6.99 and I'm going to wipe that down with a clean cotton ball with alcohol on it to make sure that it's nice and sanitized before I begin to shave my face. I basically pull my skin in an upwards motion, or I'm sorry, YouTube terms. You want to pull your skin nice and taut and then you want to angle the razor a 45 degree angle to be exact. And then just, you know, shave your face. By the way, we need thumbnail options. Okay, 
back to the shaving. So yeah, pull your skin nice and taut and then you want to shave your face. You want to go very slow with this and take your time as to not cut yourself. If you're wondering, by the way, about shaving your face and whether the hair will grow back faster or whatever your questions or concerns may be, hair will not grow back thicker or faster. Shaving does not change the number of hair follicles in the skin or the rate of the hair growth. How did I do? How did I do? Did I sound like a YouTuber? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> Either way, you're wondering, Destiny, why, why are you even doing this? Basically, removal of the hair is just something that I like to do. And your makeup goes on nice and smooth. The, the hair there is a layer in the way of my foundation being even more on my face, just extra laid. This ain't the YouTube voice, this wretched Destiny. She said, hey, by the way, guys, uh, the concerns about it being thicker, beard growing, all of that. Guys get their hair cut weekly at the at the most probably two weeks and some of them cannot even get their beards to connect so me shaving my face is it going to help me to get a beard to connect either okay so plus cells have memory peach fuzz will always come back as peach fuzz let's not can we uh, we ain't doing the debate on whether we should do this or not because i've already done it and i'm gonna leave it at that period say it with me in the hand motion too period okay so when it comes to the forehead i do get close to the brows just a little bit notice i never turn my razor in a motion to go towards my hairline i don't need it to be nice and lined up like you know how you like bay hairline to look we don't want that we just you know just near the brows just a little bit and then the center portion where we put that highlighted boom now i'm going to do the upper lip just a tad bit and before we go to wash my face obviously i need to remove this little well it's not a biore strip you can get the biore ones if you want but you could also go to dollar tree and get those one for a dollar because it works the same and then i'm just peeling in an upwards motion so i kind of lift it up slowly zoomed in closely for those that find this satisfying and yes it hurts a little bit might even make you cry but having all of that junk in your pores is enough to make a person cry too pick the reason you like to shed tears since I only used aloe vera gel and water, I'm just going to rinse my face instead of going in with like a whole skincare routine after this. Plus less is more, well, says the girl that just finished shaving her face. I'm going to pat my face dry with a clean towel and then take that same witch hazel and just rub that all over my face. I'm not like pulling at the skin. I wanted to go in with this like skincare superstars kit. Uh, one of my subscribers mailed me this for my birthday, but then I thought about it. I was like, let's not try new stuff right after you shave your face. I'm going to stick with what I know, so I decided to go ahead and apply my Puns Facial Moisturizer, but of course we'll visit that kit at a later time. Moving right along, I'm going to go ahead and exfoliate my lips using a lip scrub that I purchased from Lush. You can DIY this just with sugar and oil. Just massage it over the lips to remove dead skin. Since it's all natural ingredients, the instructions do say that you can lick off the excess. Saliva helps break down food, so it most likely contributes to dry peeling lips so I decided to wipe that off and then apply some chapstick chin lift anyone so I purchased this chin firming mask from Amazon it's a pack of five it's an anti-aging gel face mask for a v-shape it um, removes wrinkles helps with face contouring tightening and firming so I'm just going to go ahead and peel off that little backing and then you just want to place it underneath the jaw and then you want to lengthen it to one side to hang over the ears and then stretch it and hook it behind the other side of your ears and then massage in an upwards motion for better absorption of the product and then you can leave this on for about 15 to 20 minutes so again multitasking next up is hair removal mm -hmm. not the fancy kind girl i'm just using air <laughs> <laughs> what are we giving the girls very much don't let it sit longer than 10 minutes like it's very much giving external use only and don't use this on your armpits i'm going to finish my shower i bet you're wondering what is she doing there i used my dial soap about three or four times you know then i followed up with my tree hut firming sugar scrub this one is italian mocha with certified organic shea butter that's what the bottle says after that i follow up with this cocoa butter moisturizing body oil apply this directly onto damp skin you can leave it on for a few seconds and then you pat dry you can also use this in bubble baths if you would like reading the back of the packaging that's what it says you're nice and moisturized i don't use this as much in the summer as i do in the winter because hello drier months moisturizer at night i may reach for my cocoa butter lotion during the day when i want to smell like you know real good i might reach for something more fragrance like my pink sugar body lotion and now guys that's pretty much what i did in the shower so I'm going to go ahead and remove the little chin up mask and i'm pretty sure you guys are going to be wondering does this work how do you like it blah blah 
la a lot of people noticed like the fat underneath my chin so I feel like they'll also notice if this is working or not but five that come in the pack I still have three left which means I really haven't used it just yet that much plus these aren't really reusable but if you all bear with me I'll let you all know how I like them let's go ahead now and finish up with the pedicure because I bet y'all are like she ain't even finished step three and step four so take step three which is the bubbly mask this mask is amazing like this product should cost more than three bucks like it's really nice quality i'm massaging that onto my feet and then on the lower portion of my leg okay i went up a little higher why not it was a lot in the package and then you want to wait until it begins to bubble up a little bit i rinsed that off in the bathtub i didn't shower again you can just you know stand in there and just run the water just on your legs and then we're going to use the massage butter to finish off also off camera guys i did do my top coat on my white and uh another most asked question does my white kind of stain not really if you find that it stains don't wear colorful socks just wear white ones 21 minutes later i'm finally done with this voiceover well it took longer than 21 minutes because <laughs> I be messing up. <laughs> Questions to comments, leave all of that down below. I hope you all enjoyed my maintenance week video that I actually filmed in two days, which is probably why I'm tired. I should have spaced this out, huh? Still gonna title it maintenance week because that's what these are called. Let me know what you all will be taking away from this maintenance video. Will you add any of these things to your And routine? if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel as well because it's absolutely free to do so. If you made it to the end, it means you love me. You stay here for 21 minutes. You rocking with your girl. Do yourself a favor, do me a favor more so do yourself a favor and subscribe click on the screen to watch more videos like this one and i'll talk to you all in my next upload